Beautiful. So yeah, Jeff and I started chatting about crypto, I think two years ago, maybe you can clarify. It's been a blur for me, Jeff, once you get in here, obviously. But uh, yeah, so the I've just been honestly amazed by the dedication, the commitment, like this guy works harder than anybody I know. And I know some serious hustlers, right? So come a long ways. The technology is absolutely amazing. So if you're not familiar with it, the match protocol adds second, I believe, and third layers. I'll let you clarify that, Jeff, of awesome. security on top of the Bitcoin network. So not only are you benefiting from Bitcoin's security, but a second and I believe a third layer on top of that, making it arguably the most secure blockchain on the planet. Sweet. So without further ado, introducing Jeff from Safecoin. Hey. <laughs> hey great to meet you good to good to see you guys fine gentlemen uh i'm not so I'm not, apparently i have a halloween background now i don't know what happened the sun just dropped down in the last 30 <laughs> seconds <laughs> that's nanaimo for you right yeah, yeah i'm in nanaimo yeah. right now and it just happened i talked to these guys 30 seconds ago and i had lots of light <laughs> now I no worries oh we can see you good it's uh, just a nice, healthy glow. Looks like you got some uh, the great it's skin. All, all, yeah, it's a big, healthy glow. That's what it is. <laughs> awesome. So, you know, I uh, was talking a bit about, you know, smart contracts, DeFi. Really, I just want to let you introduce yourself and, you know, take it from there. I don't need to, you know, hold the reins per se. Just what you, you know, the improvements you're sure. making in the space. Maybe start with your story. Like, what brought you to crypto? What you know, drives that passion. Well, I really appreciate you guys having me on for starters. And that is one of the main drivers for me uh, getting into crypto. But uh, no, I, uh, I, I've i been interested in crypto uh, since 2011 when I first found out about it. Uh, bought some in 2013. And it went from $100 to 900 and I thought I am a genius and I <laughs> sold it all and laughed hard. So that's how I got into crypto. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey, that's, um, but I stayed. Yeah. Go amazing. ahead, Corey. I was just saying that's yeah. amazing. Like you got in early, you know, coming along, seeing it's just yeah. The three, three and a half years I've been in crypto has just been mind shattering. I couldn't imagine, you know, when you first started with some of those, like, how'd you buy Bitcoin, what was it like that was just after Mount Gox? I bought it twice. Uh, once I bought it on Bitstamp, Bitstamp used to allow Canadians before everything got clamped down. And I bought it on something called Satoshi's Vault, which was another large exchange, which eventually got uh, shut down. Never got hacked, but did get shut down. So, yeah. Hey, okay. so, well. yeah. It's, and just been really interested in the technology ever since. Beautiful. So, so Corey, I, I, I know you wanted me to talk about DeFi. Do you want me to talk about DeFi? Uh, if you I, I can't want, actually pronounce it. I was going to say decentralized finance. There are a basic understanding. Maybe you just give, um, for our newer users, a breakdown of why it's exciting to the space and then what Safecoin can do differently or improve upon, I should say, and not just differently. Sure. I, I think it's the promise that's exciting. What we're seeing right now, I, I'm just, we're just monitoring it and trying to understand it better. Um, so I'm going to try to describe a little bit about what's going on right now, which, which like a lot of things in crypto is 50% um, uh, hope and promise and 50% shady. Um, and, and so uh, I think, uh, the best way to kind of describe what happened, I mentioned you mentioned the BitMEX hack. Uh, Coin, but I'm sorry. BitMEX yes. with I'm the, sorry. Uh, the KU Coin hack. Sorry, I meant the, I was going to say uh, BitMEX. You didn't mention BitMEX. I'm sorry. So the BitMEX uh, recently you know. got uh, attacked by uh, U.S. regulators. Yeah. And there was an arrest and there's some outstanding warrants and they're just having a lot of fun right now. Um, 
So uh, that actually has a lot to do with Uniswap. Um, so Uniswap is kind of uh, advertised right now as a purely decentralized system uh, where you're literally always in control of your keys and which is a great, great feature to be able to be in control of your keys uh, and high liquidity. And, and uh, those are all great things. Uh, they're somewhat true and somewhat not. Uh, it, I mean, like a lot of things, there's a lot of half truths. It is probably one of the more promising things we've seen in a while, I think. Um, is it fully decentralized? No, it is absolutely not. It is centralized. Um, and it is controlled by Binance, which not a lot of people know. I but did not know that either. No, Binance is not telling anyone. But if you uh, look it up, <laughs> uh, they uh, have they have what they call governance tokens. Now, if mm -hmm. you hold enough to governance tokens, you are essentially mm -hmm. you essentially have admin rights on Uniswap. Uh, and uh, makes all sense. of the okay. governance tokens are owned by Binance. So uh, that's so everything I said up till now I know that that I know and then everything I'm going to say after this is speculation. Interesting. Uh, it, it's presumed that what's going on is you know Binance has known about that Bitmex Bitmex issue for two years now. I mean the Feds have been trying to take out Bitmex for a couple of years, mm -hmm. and, and in that time, um. Uh, there's been efforts by the large players to not go to jail. Um, and uh, Uniswap may be a way for them to do that. So they're actually, so they're kind of, I believe, I mean, this is speculation, but I, but I believe they're probably hedging their bets uh, and looking for a way to do large volume exchange uh in in a way that's too hard for regulators to crack down on. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of my spin on that. But you guys feel free to take your own uh, take your own um, <laughs> opinions on it. But definitely look that up. Look up the uh, Uniswap uh, Treasury tokens, and you'll find a whole bunch of pages about Binance. And it's interesting, but anyway, so I mean, really what Uniswap is, is it is an attempt to do a very decentralized uh, order book. Um, and they do that. Now, the problem with uh, decentralized order books is they are uh, slow and difficult for active traders. And they're often highly illiquid. So they, they get a, they've gotten around that using a formula, which basically... Uh, the essence of the formula is uh, shit or get off the pot. So basically, when you enter the Uniswap market, there's going to be a trade. Um, and it may not be the exact price that you asked for, but you are going <laughs> to get, there's going to be a trade. Yeah. And so by forcing that, they're allowed to have uh, much higher volumes, much higher liquidity, and ultimately have much higher interest levels. Pretty soon you guys won't be able to see me at all. And uh, basically that's that that's that's what we're seeing. And there's a lot of good so like I'm I'm giving you guys the full everything I know about it at this point, and Great. I'm still yeah. researching a ton like the rest, like everybody else, because it's so new. Oh, absolutely. Um, but I I mean there's a lot of great things about it. The idea of being able to um, run an entire order book on the Ethereum chain. Um, it's, I mean, it's not the first attempt. Uh, so we are, you know, Safecoin is a fork of Komodo and we also have the ability to run an order book on Safecoin, uh, right. as do other, uh, asset chains of Komodo. So we have, we have that ability. Um, and we, it, it is on our roadmap to implement that at some point and we are kind of watching the situation to see how it unfolds but we can do a lot of the same things and we're trying to see you know how it can be done better i mean one of the big problems with uniswap is of course the fees yeah. um, ethereum is a little bit of a bloated beast and probably not the future of this kind of thing unless they can find a way to make it more scalable 
So I, I think a lot of people right now are looking at scalability ways to be able to do um, volumes like this or higher volumes um, in a scalable means which doesn't have massive fees. So mm -hmm. um, that's something we're looking at with SafeCoin. Um, there are other coins doing it. Definitely, the, uh, we're we're one of the few that's actually set up to do it properly. It's one of our many features. Um, the um, we have a better backbone too, though. Uh, we are set up in a way, like you mentioned, with our match protocol, where we are double spend proof. I know you can't even see me at all right now, can you? No, I was just <laughs> saying, like I really want to curve this in towards safe nodes, just because we were talking. Yep. Uh, the buy and hold before I alluded to, you know, find out a little bit more. Well, I'm earning, yeah. you know, payouts every single day by staking my safe coin. I have been for a long time. So that's just, you know, why I was giggling. Well, and the safe nodes are central to our match protocol, which basically protects our notarization. So what that does is it prevents uh, double spending on our chain. Now, if you are going to have a blockchain run an order book, or lots of order books, you do not want that blockchain to be double spent ever. Because no. <laughs> awful no. things would happen if it did. So um, that in our in the last couple of years, that's been one of our big focuses is getting to that point. And we are at that point now and we're still developing it further, but we are pretty much double spend proof at this point for our size and we're continuing to improve that. And, and the safe nodes really are central to that and will be even more central in the future. Mm -hmm. Now the safe nodes could also eventually um, play a role potentially in future order books. Um, but uh, yeah, you're absolutely right, Corey. So you can, you can actually get a safe node, run a safe node and be rewarded uh, for running one. On, and we intend, as we as we start to develop forms of utility, we want to use that on the safe nodes. So as we find ways to actually uh, do what they call useful work, which could gen generate revenue, we would want that to run on the safe nodes, um, and people would get rewarded for running them. So beautiful. Yeah. yeah um, so for those of you that haven't been paying super close attention, I think Ethereum Classic would be the best example of a 51% attack lately. That's three in one month. Wasn't that just a little while back, Jeff? Yeah. So uh, Ethereum Classic was actually uh, created from an attack. <laughs> so not it wasn't a double spend, but um, oh, okay. Ethereum was once attacked. And it was their premise that the attack was fair and they should not fix it. So um, they created a coin based off that and then proceeded to get attacked and attacked and attacked, which is tricky because their whole premise is that attacks are okay. Um, so um, anyway, they've struggled with that. And now that it's a very cool ideology, which is basically you know, their their response to that would be code is law. So they believe the code is law. And if you can break the code, it's your money. That That's their thoughts on that. So anyway, a lot of people have broken their chain. Um, and uh, they, they're they somebody who would definitely be in need of a technology that we have. So, you know, we have spoken with them. Uh I don't, you know, I don't know if they'll end up using us or not in the future, but I, I think they should look at some means of protecting their chain a little bit more. And there's a whole bunch of other blockchains which are uh, at risk at various times. You know, I am aware of some chains right now. I won't say which ones, but there are some major chains right now which are at considerable risk, and we're always watching that. I saw... It's never going to be one of them. That's beautiful. I saw an estimate... Uh, I can't remember the exact dollar figures, but it was the, you know, the amount that it would cost somebody for a 51% attack on these other blockchains. And it was surprisingly low, like on Bitcoin cash and some of these larger coins. Right. So yeah, it's, be yeah, it's going to become like yeah, massive demand for it in the space, that protection. Right. So 
Um, before we go too, too far, uh, for those that are either already running a safe node, I know there's a couple, not just myself in the community, but uh, what are some other benefits that are potentially coming down the line that the team's been discussing? If you can uh, divulge, no worries if not. I know you can't uh, give all the goods away, but curious. Oh, well, again, we are definitely looking at on-chain exchange. That is a, a roadmap item. Um, and we are still kind of assessing the waters right now in terms of wh where we think things will head with uh, decentralized exchanges. So um, the on-chain exchange, if you don't mind just, you know, diving in to that a little bit. A decentralized exchange? It would be a fully decentralized, is that... Yeah. One that we were talking about tying into safe pay. I'm not sure if I'm. Oh, yes. So, well, we do have safe pay as well. Um, and safe pay right now uh, ties in very well with safe coin. You can do a lot with it. Um, interacting with safe coin and some of the other coins we have on there. Um, but we will eventually be tying safe pay into payment gateways and exchanges as well, uh, sp uh, specifically safe trade. So safe pay, we want that to become basically a, a full e-commerce solution, which functions as a payment gateway, both for merchant and client. Mm -hmm. And um, the safe nodes may have a role in that. We will see how things go there. Um, and uh, we, we think we're very far ahead of other projects in terms of our technology. The the safe pay wallet is quite advanced. Um, it has a lot of advanced multi-sig features, which most wallets don't have. It is, of course, um, you know, it's your wallet. Like when you set up an account on safe pay, for instance, on your phone, uh, that, that coinage really is on your phone. It's not on a server somewhere. And so when you guys look for a wallet, even if it's, even if it is a mobile wallet, that should be the first thing you look for is where are the, what they say is where are my keys, which is essentially where's my funds, wherever your keys are, that's where your money is. And uh, we have a saying, uh, not your keys, not your crypto. So that means as soon as you deposit onto a centralized exchange, that is no longer your money. You are just hoping that the centralized exchange gives it back to you. So uh, always look for a wallet which keeps lets you keep control of your own keys. Uh, SafePay has that, and it has the ability to lock it up in ways where if you lost your phone or if your phone was stolen – and somebody got into your wallet, uh, depending on how you set it up, they would not be able to take your money. Um, so it, it's much more advanced that way. And I would say probably one of the nicer looking, easier to use wallets. I would definitely agree with that too. We've had a lot of really good feedback. You know, the, the seed phrase is a little bit of a, you know, speed bump for new users, but once they realize the difference, then it's hands down, right? For that extra three to five seconds, well, maybe you know, fifteen seconds it takes to write it down. You're you're safe, like you got that security, right? So there was, I think it was IM token I was using before, and if you, it's to your phone. If you lose that phone, your coin is gone, right? So yeah. that's a massive, massive benefit. So we're obviously underutilizing SafePay. I run my Safe Node from my SafePay wallet. You know, a couple bucks a month, but no big deal. And uh, yeah, we'll have to do like a training or a more in-depth, um, not necessarily examination, but really do a deep dive into SafePay sometime. I know we've got a lot of things to cover. Not necessarily tonight, but uh, yeah, definitely interested in learning more. And I know a lot of the I community do it. are excited to be able to trade, you know, their coin right from their safe pay wallet through to another coin, right? It's a lot la large demand and you know, there's other wallets out there, it's just not feasible with the, the fees, right? So it's <laughs> I'm very excited to see how that comes out. But uh 
yeah as far as the match protocol is there anything else you want to touch on before we uh move forward um i'll keep it short it is basically the full release of the match protocol is our next release i'm thinking it's probably a couple of months out uh, and at that point, I think we will probably release it a, uh, with a paper fully um, explaining all components um, and uh, showing how it is entirely decentralized and, and having a protocol, a protocol in play. We're, we're calling the release the match protocol. So there will be a protocol where uh, any other project can basically link onto it and use it if they choose. So yeah that will be our next release uh we're already protected by it now uh but it's going to be more within reach of everyone in the next release awesome so we do have a couple of questions here um we got william pike asking what would you say sets a, sets you apart from the other competitors we're As safer in, safer <laughs> um straight to the chair there's a lot of great projects out there um there's some that are there's also a lot of great a lot of projects that are not great uh i don't i don't want to say that we're better than certain projects like i i believe like my personal belief uh is that crypto is just in its infancy and there's going to be an unbelievable amount of uh, growth and development and innovation and discovery in this field. So I, I think we're going to see it just explode with diversity. Um, all, all I can say is that we have, we have our, our, our foundation covered. We start with safety and security, and then we build on top of that all the features and the great things that people want. So and good. that's something you should look at for in any project you're willing to invest in. That's what makes Bitcoin Bitcoin, right? Yeah. So that's absolutely huge. I mean, I'm a bit of a speculator, so I know that some of our community is interested for you know other reasons than just the technology. But as an investor, you know, not just the foundation, but the other, you know, smaller mark or a smaller uh, total supply. So with the safe nodes and the staking, you know, comparing to other projects, the projects that stake typically, you know, rise in value of the coin because you're restricting the supply, right? It's lower supply, yeah. lower available supply, and the amazing technology, the amazing advancements driving the demand typically drives the price too right so I, yeah there's absolutely just so many benefits like very excited just absolutely blessed to be working closely with you jeff i mean i see amazing things already happening you've already done some incredible things the team's doing amazing things then what we can achieve in the future is just and there's a reason you know philip's watching we laugh and joke you know hashtag team no sleep that's just excited up at 4 a.m. I know it's I know you're it's the same way. It seems like I've seen you work until 4 or 5 a.m. Sleep for a few hours, go to you know your work and then get home and start working on the upgrades again. So that dedication, right? Like we just had a massive bear market. Those teams that weren't dedicated fell off, right? There's no slowing yeah. down. There's no slowing down at all. You're right. Bitcoin just picked it up and started taking it to whole new levels. So that's likewise. Big... Yeah, Corey, I just want to say I love what you've been doing for the space as well. So, I mean, you are an extremely hard worker and just like a fantastic promoter of crypto. So thanks I for really that. Appreciate that. And, oh. and also just for any other questions, it's just another thing you really want to look for in any kind of project you consider investing in is make sure that the developer in any video is barely visible and in a dimly lit room. <laughs> I don't know too many de developers that like the sunlight, to be honest. Definitely more uh, night shift mode for sure. That's right. But uh, yeah, uh, I don't want to take up your whole night, Jeff. But uh, if there's no other questions, I mean, we got to get you coming back. I know there's going to be repeat. You know, once a month might not be enough <laughs> to keep up with all the updates and all the hard work. But 
it's always just a pleasure. Brody, you uh, want to jump in or say anything? I know I've been going off, but. I just wanted to yeah, mention you sounded great throughout the whole uh, throughout the whole interview here, Jeff. And your value is just like really, really appreciated here at Simple. And I'm seeing the chat and people going off. I think this is a topic that doesn't get enough love light shed on it, but it protect and secure all this wealth as they build it and grow it. So yeah, I'm super stoked and maybe we can niche in on a different topic next time and maybe get you in, in some little bit better light. But for the, I, I think it was great. I, I didn't, but it's, that's a funny joke too. <laughs> the dimly lit room, but yeah. Really no, great to meet really you. Really appreciate you, Jeff. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, everybody in the community, awesome. if you haven't awesome. heard about SafeCoin already, definitely check them out, safecoin.org. So if you got any questions, you know I've got all the training videos and everything. Done. We're very excited to move forward. And uh, yeah, is there any final words before we let you go, Jeff? Oh, just thank you very much for having me both. It was great to meet you, Brody. And as always, Corey, you're amazing. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Take care. Keep up the great work. And uh, yeah, we're excited to see you here next time. I'll be in touch in the community, obviously. Uh, everyone, Discord as well. I'll grab the Discord link if you want to jump in. That's where you know all the magic happens. So we'll get you hooked up with the Discord link as well here. Sounds great. Thanks, guys. <laughs> cool. Thank you so much, Jeff.